Hi there, sons of Leo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you for your weekly coming up. Uh, that is, oh, I wrote it down. Okay, May 24th through the 30th. So let's get started. Actually, let's get started with some Oracle cards first. And I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, for all the comments and the support. Um, if you're wanting a private reading, check in the box below and I haven't even called in your spirit guys or angels but I think they're already here we have faith that came out first uh, this is the dream totem and this is faith loving and letting go is not only one of the most challenging things we can do it's also the bravest take big deep breaths and know that this is right <sighs> okay know that this is right all right, now we're gonna go to the shaman's dream. And I think the way I'm gonna do this is past, present, future and with like different oracle cards mixed with the tarot. Okay, the shaman's dream for Leo's 24th through the 30th. Oh, wow, you got the Wheel of Fortune, Leo. So the first card that you've got is Wheel of Fortune. This is actually in the past position. So you did walk through an opportunity. You took an opportunity and you decided to go with the Wheel of Fate, which was turning for you. At present, 28, Hollow Bone, Teachability. Teachability. Let me look that one up for you. 28. Okay, it means humility or being so empty that the wind of spirit can breathe through you. Um, it says you're being called to practice humility, to check your ego. Drop all notions and titles that boast, bolster your ego and... Eliminate the doer. Remember, you can accomplish most anything if you're willing to let someone else take credit for it. Future. Well, that's a pretty one. Sky dancers. Future is sky dancers. Liberation from attachment and surrender. And that is in your near future. <clears throat> It says you have already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion. And so now is in the near future will be the time to invite the uh, divine feminine. And that would be the end energy to sit and receive, be open to receiving. The sky dancers are the, um, they are people that come to your current life situation to guide you to the realization of your own divinity. All right. Okay, let's do some of these too, and then we'll um, switch to tarot underneath those. So don't believe everything that you hear, and then in the near future, be prepared to let go um, of control of a situation that you've overanalyzed. Like that's, I think, what it's talking about. So we have Spider-Man, super, superhero, invincible, or you're invulnerable. Invulnerable. And I have lamp, lamp post, abandonment, neglect. Then I have avocado, smoothing over and buttering up the consistency. All right. So, Tara, let's ask. Oh, wow. Mindful, empty will. Time to replenish. Okay, just want to see what else is there. All right, let's get something for this Wheel of Fortune and find out 
why that's in your past position. Let's scoot these over a little bit. If I can see them. All right, the fortune's wheel. Look, in the right timing. So the right timing in the past. The, uh, yeah, so everything part of a plan in the past. Why is the fortune's wheel here? Well, I don't think it was up or down. I think it was like here. So maybe it was about finding a job or landing a certain career, um, working really hard at something, becoming like a master at your craft or skill. Might have had a lot of people competing and challenges to deal with conflicts and arguments. But working diligently, um, paying attention to the fact that you're blessed in some area, so it makes you, you're doing something a little bit faster here. So hollow bone for the present. All right. Change who's in charge. <laughs> That's exactly what it means is change who's in charge. I don't know who this represents to you, but we have... Aries and Scorpio. The Aries is not a very good emperor. Um, very domineering. And r runs with fear. Like by fear. Tries to put fear in the hearts of people. So not, not a very good leader. Okay. Sky Dancers. Let's see what this is about. And we'll clarify with um, the small. Like, <laughs> it just makes sense. It's like presently you're wrapping something up. In the future, you're going to be moving on with the universe card or the world card. It's a brand new start to a new cycle. Something that's going to be really lovely in your life. Okay, let's get the tiny tarot and see if it wants to clarify any of this. Ending, ending, ending. Closing the chapter on something that maybe disrupted the foundation, too. Okay, Tarot, do you have anything else to say for our Leos? Anything else to say for our Leos? All right, so we have divine timing at play with Sagittarius card, temperance. Making sure that things are tempered, so taking, tending to the details, even the small details, making sure something is really balanced. Knowing that there's some self-sacrifice that was involved and um, having a little patience here, trying to see something from a different point of view. <clears throat> Oof. All right, something just wasn't really fair, e give and take, or equal exchange here. And in the present moment, I think that gets righted by this. And it's, it's either somebody stepping down or somebody stepping out of your life. Or it's the end of you being in this position. Um, I really thought that had to do with being being uninspired and being in this position. And it's something that um, I feel that that energy just leaves. All right, let's see if there's anything else. We have Virgo, we have Sagittarius, Seven of Pentacles in the, in the reverse, meaning the world card there. Um, meaning that you've run out of patience. Maybe you're wondering if something was really worth it. Present day, tying the past to the present is working on something that involves seven of swords energy, which is, you know, the card for lying, cheating, stealing, deception. It can be self-deception. Put a close, put an end to whatever this is about. <clears throat> Do it with loving compassion and, and an open ear. Listen well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. 
and the Empress in reverse. It because if you take this loving approach to this, then this Empress this Empress energy will flip back around. But it needs this to happen first. So I'm gonna close your two of cups. Regrets. Fighting. But look at that. Ten of Cups with the Eight of Wands. It's like swift incoming communication that even though those things are conflicted right now and you might be conflicted, people aren't getting along, there's still a harmonious partnership that will be experienced out of all of this. All right. Now let's get you some angel numbers, angel number messages, and then... We'll do Ask the Angels and some tea leaves. Uh, angel numbers, messages for Leo for their week 24th through the 30th, May. Oh, that's a good card. Three, the Empress Energy um, is talking about your unique expression and... Um, the persuasive way that you can say things such as like a salesperson or something like that but you have a way of convincing other people in your dream so 17 the quality of work that you produce when you're at it going at it alone is almost unbelievable it says i'm independent just to remember to stay focused which this person right here wasn't so 77 it's time to move on from old patterns habits and fears now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. Now is the time to be bold and brave. I am brave. All right. Then ask the angels. Um, you can either ask them questions or I can just uh, lay it out and then see how it relates to your situation. However you want to do it. So card one. It's up to you. They're saying something is up to you. If you believe, if you believe, big happy changes to, oh, nice, that week you should experience some, um, a lot of contrast or something to open your eyes to these big happy changes coming, and it says in the star, if you believe, possibly Aquarius, it's up to you, it's up to you. Big happy changes. All right, so Leo, let's get you some tea leaves and close up your reading. So you're becoming a, a master crafter or you're somebody who is making sure that something is in the works and you're working on it, like you're still working on it. That's what I get. Door opportunities are waiting for you. Seahorse, Family Matters, and Broom, New Home, New Attitude, very nice. All right, Leos, thanks for joining me, guys. Sending you love and light as always. Bye-bye.